Good evening, everyone. High school district volleyball trophies are on the line tonight and tomorrow across the state. We'll start with the Class C final in Gwyn as Nagani met Munising. Third set tied at 1, 13 13. Mustangs not able to put that one away. Madison Contio, Marissa Simons, and that's a Nagani point. And it's a 14 13 advantage. Munison coach Josh Cohn concerned. For the Mustangs, Frankie Matson, Bailey Downs, Cayenne went off the block, and Marissa Cantio, or Madison Cantio, I should say, gets the point. Uh, Nagani up 16 14. Then Marissa Immel, Marissa Ackerman, Cayenne went for the cross court kill, and the Mustangs draw within one. Munising will run another play for Went here, but the Miners, Madison McCracken, Crackalacken on the block. 18 16 maize and blue, but Nagani coach Sarah McDonald knew there's more kick in the Mustangs. And here it comes Marissa Immel, Bailey Downs, Michaela Paramacki off the block. A service ace brought Munising within 23 22, but Nagani would stop the comeback. McCracken, Cantio off the block and out of reach. Miners won that set 25 22. However, Munising took the match. 3-2, 15-7 in the fifth set. So they win the district title. Who will they face in the regional next Tuesday? Well, let's go to Calumet, home of the Copper Kings, as the banner says so nicely, where they were taking on Ironwood. Third set action here, and the Red Devils' kill attempt does not work, and Calumet has a double-digit lead at 14-4. Rebecca Sturros lines one up, but she gets a little bit too much air under this one, so Ironwood picks up the point. The Copper Kings, well, they just don't make very many mistakes. Leah Bajorn on the serve, and that one's not being returned. Copper Kings up 18 to 11. And Haley Wickstrom, the very tall outside hitter slash middle blocker, is going to get a nice set and the put away, and that's the match, 25-12. Three to nothing, so it's Calumet against Munising in one regional semifinal on Tuesday in Gladstone. To the scoreboard, where we'll answer the other question. Iron Mountain turned back Norway 3-0. Rudyard defeated St. Ignace 3 nothing. So it's the Mountaineers and the Bulldogs in the first regional semifinal Tuesday at Gladstone. That should start around 5.30 Eastern time. Class B, a district final in the lower peninsula. Kingsley down Sheboygan 3-0. Kingsley will now get the winner of Houghton and Menominee. Let's go to Class D. To Lakeland and Hubble, where Halloween is a week-long event and everybody's going bananas for the lakes. First set action, Alexa Destramp with the serve, and she's going to put one in the ace column. 20-13 lakes. Destramp. Lines up another one, and Barriga can't get that one back, and it's now 22-13, and that required a timeout to get things settled down just a little bit. First match point for the Lakes, Casey Maleko with the push, and the next thing you know, it's not going to work out on, or not match point yet, first match point, I should say. It took more than one, and the Lakes will get this point, and they won 25-14 and three sets to none. On the scoreboard, Forest Park defeated Bessemer. Wakefield Marinisco over Waters meet. Those were semifinals. The two winners meet tomorrow night at Wakefield. Rapid River wins a district title over Mid Peninsula 3-2-1. And the Rockets will advance to the regional, that's at Westwood next Tuesday. Also on the eastern end, Brimley over Maplewood Baptist, 3 0. Same for Detour over Cedarville. Those were both district finals. The NMU hockey team meets Wisconsin for the second time this season. The two squads split in Green Bay. This time the games will take place in Madison. Wildcats head coach Walt Kyle knows the offense needs to be more productive. We have to generate more point shots, we have to generate more screens. Those lead to second shots. We have to have guys get in that tough ice to find those second shots. And that's the way we're going to score. We're not a team that's going to score. We don't have a lot of Scott Beatties or Dallas Drakes that you're going to notice, you know, beating people one-on-one -on -one or doing some of those things. So um, I do think it'll improve for sure. 
Faceoff in Madison is set for 8 o'clock Eastern time both nights. Michigan Tech travels to Michigan State for a pair of 705 starts, and Lake Superior State hosts Minnesota State this weekend. The third seeded Michigan Tech women's soccer team meets seventh seeded Walsh tomorrow night in the GLIAC semifinals. That's taking place at top seeded Grand Valley State. The Huskies match begins at 7 o'clock. That follows the Lakers match against Ohio Dominican, which begins at 4. Michigan Tech has six players named two various spots on the all-conference team, including goaltender of the year, Kirsten Hudak. The Huskies also had Jacqueline Milkey named as a first-team forward. Tech had two mil midfielders on the second team, Catherine Farkas and Jessica Splitgerber. And Amuse Paula Hafner also earned a place on the second team as a midfielder. And the Huskies' Emily Morin was named a second team defender, while Tech's Maddie Faust and NMU's Ali Milam were named honorable mention. And don't forget, all kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. NMU men's soccer team had a couple of players on the all-conference team as well. Ivar Arneson, a second team defender, and honorable mention for Sven Carlson. So very good for the first year of the Wildcat Not soccer program on the men's side. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike.